Hi, my name is Nina Dobrev, and this is everything that I eat in one day. Well, one day, kind of. Every day is different. It depends if it's a pandemic day or a regular day, if it's that time of the month day. My diet varies a lot. The first thing I do when I wake up, hands down, no questions asked, is snuggle with my dog. I usually set an alarm, but I almost always wake up before my alarm goes off because my puppy, Maverick, her little paw goes around my shoulder and she's like a human, it's weird. I think that when she was a puppy, she saw like people coming over to my house and I'd greet them by hugging them. So she learned that that was how you greet someone. So she's my natural coffee, but she's not enough, let's be real. Mama needs some coffee, some real strong, strong coffee. So the next thing I do is get up no, then I pee, then I go to the kitchen. I make the strongest coffee. Sometimes I even have two coffees. Like I'll finish the coffee and it's not enough. I do a, a shot of espresso and then I do a regular coffee and I mix them together. I use almond milk and then I'll do a packet or two of stevia. And that's kind of my morning routine. After I have my coffee, breakfast varies. If it's just me, I'm low maintenance and I just gotta get it done. So I'll do a protein shake and I make my shakes at home. Unsweetened vanilla almond milk. I grab a banana from the freezer. I freeze my bananas so that they make the mixture a lot more um, like thicker. It's a little bit thicker. I don't like my shakes really watered down and gross. I also add Add avocado, which helps with the thickness again. Almond butter, not peanut butter. I'm not allergic, but just don't, just doesn't work. They give me inflammation. Then I'll put spinach and arugula in there. I put collagen. Hum Nutrition makes this like vitamin. It's like a beauty vitamin. You throw that in the shake too. I think that's it. Then I click on the machine and it does its magic and voila. If I'm having a relaxing morning or if it's a Saturday or a Sunday, I will typically go all out. I'll have eggs, whether they're scrambled or I do sunny side up. I do like my eggs runny. If I can't dip it, I don't want it. Gotta dip it. Yeah. I toast gluten-free bread. I found out later in life, after not feeling well for so many years, I, that was just my normal. Like I just ate food and didn't feel great and found out that my body doesn't do well with gluten. I don't do well with dairy products. After the eggs and the toast, I'll also do some steamed spinach or I like to have apple sausages. You, when you go to the store, they have these like apple sausages and I like to cut them up into little pieces, put them on the, the pan. I leave them on for way too long. If they're not burnt, I don't want them. I'll dip them into maple syrup. I'll have them with my eggs, put that on the gluten-free toast with the egg and the sausage and a little bit of arugula if I have it. I'm a big arugula girl. Don't know why, just like the, it's so like light and fresh and green and just, just put it in my mouth. And that's my morning breakfast, if I'm feeling fancy. I lied. I also like pancakes. Simple Mills makes pancake mix, which is gluten-free. I'll mix that with blueberries, banana, sometimes some chocolate. And then when they come out, they're all gooey and delicious. And then I put more maple syrup on it. After breakfast on most mornings, I'll try to get a workout in if I can. I'll go to Pilates or I'll go for a run. I'll take Maverick on a walk and then I get to work. Whether work that day is reading a script or making an audition or answering emails or doing a Zoom meeting in the pandemic as it's been. When lunchtime rolls around, because I stack my days and have have things going on every every half an hour. It's kind of the last thing I remember, so I don't usually cook my lunches myself. We'll do Postmates, Grubhub, or one of those apps. A lot of the time, I'll order from a place called Fresh Corn Grill. I get the Fresh Corn Grill salad, but with no corn, which is weird, because it's the Fresh Corn Grill salad, but I take out the corn. In the afternoons, and actually just throughout the day, I snack a lot. There was a period of time that I was working with a trainer who told me you have to eat every two hours so that your metabolism keeps working. And so that's kind of how I live my life, whether it's almonds or there's these little made good products and they have these little baggies with granola in them that are also gluten-free safe. I just have to have something in my belly. If I'm hungry or thinking about food, I can't focus on my work and I really like to work at a high level constantly. I'm a bit of a workaholic. It's a problem but it's also effective. 
now that the pandemic is slowly coming to an end and things are slowly opening, I've gone out to dinner maybe two or three times, which was a weird experience. So a lot of the time I cook at home and in the pandemic, I exclusively cooked at home. I have a couple of go-tos, but I love, love, love trying new recipes. I'll crack open a cookbook and one of my favorites is Chrissy Teigen's cookbook. I'll just close my eyes and flip the pages and then just stop at one page and whatever it says, I'll go out and grab the ingredients and try to make whatever it is and destroy my kitchen in the process. <laughs> I used to eat a lot of fish, but in researching a lot about what goes on in the ocean, making a documentary of my own, watching another documentary that recently affected me significantly, at the rate that we're eating fish because there's so many humans on the earth, it's not sustainable and the fishing industry itself is not sustainable at all. So. As of recently, I've stopped eating fish altogether and I'm thinking about becoming a vegan. I'm not a vegan. Maybe we should do another one of these diaries in a little while and see where I'm at. And then as for snacks, like nighttime snacks or desserts or treats, I'm not a big sweets person. I can't eat a lot of them because most desserts have gluten and especially dairy in them. Every now and then, if it's that time of the month, I will, at that point, crave sweets. It's only one week out of the month where I actually want a sweet thing. My go-to are smart treats. They look like Swedish fish and they kind of taste like Swedish fish, but they're, to me, guilt-free because they don't have really high sugars in them and they're just really delicious and they're my, they're my guilty pleasure. And then, of course, when I'm trying to unwind and relax. I will invite some friends over and we'll have some of my wine. I started a wine company with my best friend, Julian Huff. It's called Fresh Vine Wine. If anything, I guess that's my guilty pleasure, sweet craving at the end of the night. And that's basically everything I eat in one day. Thanks for tuning in. I'm really stoked that you guys watch this, if you've made it this far. <laughs> Thanks so much.